Hi there, good afternoon. Welcome to Hydra, also called Idra. This is my second full day on the island. Yesterday, I bicycled down here, parked the bike down at the bottom of the hill next to that resort, then hiked along a gravel road there to Mandraki Castle and around the corner there. Today, I'm going to continue up the road past the resort there and ultimately, hopefully get up to the top of that saddle there and then perhaps over, I will see how far the road goes and perhaps end up doing some hiking as well. Hello. So, it is about 4.30 in the afternoon here. I have been busy all day, huddled in my room, editing away on my latest video. Got it done and so just going to make the most of the rest of this day. Plenty of daylight left. Clouds cooling things down, which will actually be a relief for this uh, biking and hiking adventure. So, Hydra here is, as far as I know, the only Greek island where cars are banned. Before coming here, I checked online because I was curious, are motorcycles banned? And sure enough, motorcycles are also banned. I just bought this bicycle in Athens the day before I caught the ferry over here. And when I got off the ferry, I was approached by a policeman who informed me bicycles are also banned on this island. It is all wheeled transport. I hadn't searched for bicycles. I thought this would be like the bicyclist's heaven. Now, fortunately, he said basically if you just don't bike around town, then it's not a problem. You can bike elsewhere on the island and I won't be bothered apparently. So no uh, problems yesterday. But the road system is very limited. And this road, even though I guess it goes up and over the top of the island, as you can see up ahead there, it won't go all the way down to the other side. Regardless, I'm thinking maybe I don't want to... So that is where I parked the bike yesterday and then I walked there and then around the bay there. And so I'm thinking that uh, maybe I don't want to... Oh, got to change the gear before I go up the hill. That's better. So regardless of where the road actually goes, I'm thinking that I'm not exactly in the mood to go up and then down and then back up and then down. I'm willing to do it once up and then come back, but uh, I think I probably don't want to go all the way down the other side and have to come back up again. Anyways, legs are sore from yesterday's biking and hiking, and as I said, it's getting late. So, point being, we'll see what happens. That's basically the deal. Just going to huff and puff up this hill here, and one way or another, no matter where I end up, we are definitely going to get some nice views. And we'll see what else we see of this lovely, peaceful, and very unique island of Hydra. Making progress. Might be more than half the way or around there. Confession, I have pushed it probably about half of the distance getting up here. The walking muscles are in better shape than the biking muscles. So, what the heck do you do if you live up there and can't drive or motorbike or bicycle? Just donkey it, I guess? I mean, that looks like a monastery perhaps there. The other one seems more like a residence, but maybe it's also a monastery. You know, maybe it's just uh, like monks that just live up there the whole time and then 
one person goes down for supplies every once in a while or something. Awesome views. That is the Greek mainland, a very large peninsula there. And then there is the island of Dokos and Spetses out there. I'm considering going to Spetses next, possibly tomorrow, trying to decide my plans. Unfortunately, my hotel is full tomorrow night. Otherwise, I would definitely stay another day there. All right, let's uh, finish off this hill. And it looks like I'm possibly at the top. It wasn't that much further from where I was. What a shame though, all this garbage. How did all this end up up here? Obviously the wind, but uh, it's just littered. Okay, quick little detour here. So, uh, in my video from two days ago in Athens in which I bought this bicycle, then I said that it was titanium. Now, I could be wrong about what he said. Maybe he said aluminum. It was 300 euros, that is $325 US. Now keep in mind that uh, things are cheaper in Greece. Okay, nothing much up here. And it looks like uh, that might be the end of the paved road, or does it keep on going? Anyways, uh, let's keep cruising. Okay, here is the answer to the garbage problem. This is the dump, and obviously the winds come up the hill there and pick everything up and blow it all over the place. And... This is not looking like it's going to be a good place to try to continue further. I guess there could be a uh, trail over there. But uh, anyways, whatever the heck this thing is, steel, aluminum, titanium, seems like a dang good bike for the price. So far working out great, 21 gears included bell lights etc and a good knobby tires for these dirt roads going to park the bike over here so they don't think it's a piece of garbage and then just walk over there see if maybe there's a trail actually maybe a better idea is to start from up there I'm thinking, and try to go up that hill there to the top of that saddle, which is lower than that. And also there's a massive steep canyon there. So yeah, I think this is a better idea. Oh, maybe it makes sense to go back this way, see how far this road goes. Leaving the bike locked up here, we'll continue walking further, try to get to the top of the ridge. We have some somewhat ominous looking clouds out there that could uh, result in some rain. It actually rained a little bit middle of the day while I was in my room, although it was more like a sprinkle for five minutes or something. Well, this is turning into a uh, pretty serious hike. At least I'm hiking knowing that with every step uphill I will just be coming back down and not giving myself more uphill for whenever I get tired here. I at least want to see the other side of the island. Get to a ridge where I can look down the other side. This could be more than halfway across the island once I get up there. It isn't very wide. It is long. 20 kilometers, about 12 miles long, and only maybe three or four miles wide.
And here we have what looks like another monastery, likely. And I think the top of the saddle. So since I mentioned that I spent today editing a video, for those who are curious how long it takes, I started that video around 10 or 10.30 and finished it up about 3 or 3.30. So five hours, a 34 minute video, the one about taking the ferry from Athens to Hydra here, which I filmed day before yesterday. Yep, we are looking down the other side, out at the Mediterranean, whatever this uh, part of the Mediterranean is called. It is a dramatic view and I am definitely not walking down there. But uh, look at that. At least we got an idea of what the island is like, both sides and how wide it is. I mean, you know, the other side you can see easily right there. It must be even narrower right here than more in the middle towards uh, the town. So maybe three miles wide or something right here. And so that is looking kind of straight north, I think. Wait. No. No sun, so it's hard to orient. The island is shaped like this with the peninsula on the other side, and you are looking at the peninsula. Okay, I have it completely backwards. The island is kind of like this catty corner looking that way from the town is looking northwest. This is actually looking southeast, I guess. That just feels kind of weird, but uh, well, let's check the map. So there we are, the blue dot, right at the center of the island, basically but a little bit closer to that side. And so the town is on the other side of the island, also about halfway along the top there. It is looking that way towards the Greek mainland, that peninsula there. And so from here, we are indeed looking pretty much straight south little bay there, and then nothing for a ways, for a long ways, until you get to Milos Island, which I've been to once before back in 2009. So just open sea there for a long while, and no ferry boats going from here out to those other islands, the Cacladis, and so in order to get over there, which is my ultimate plan, and I will have to, I guess, maybe go all the way back to Athens and then catch another ferry from there. Unless I can maybe go from Aina, but uh, I think not. I think I will be making the trip back to Piraeus and then catch another ferry whenever I do that, maybe after visiting Spetsy's Island for a few days. All right, well, I think that that is basically going to do it for this adventure, a uh, short one. I have more work to do this evening, so I think that I'm just going to uh, bike on back and then maybe uh, stroll around the town a bit. See you later.